This right here is a mini DC UPS. It has a couple of batteries inside and some ports for charging stuff. You could call it a power bank and you'll be sort of right. Let's crack it open and see what's inside the box. In the box you get a little white box with the charging cable to charge the mini UPS, a power cable to charge whatever device you need to power, which in my case will be a Wi-Fi modem, and a couple of connectors of the same size. Then in the big box you also get the mini UPS and a manual. The manual is in English, but it must be directly translated from Mandarin as some of the instructions are a tad bit confusing. But don't worry, that's why I am doing this review. The Mini UPS comes in three types based on the output ports. You have the 5V, 9V, 9V model. You have the 5V, 9V, 12V model, that is the one I have with me right now and you have the 5 volt 12 volt 12 volt model these are the output voltages for all three ports and the ports are a single 5 volt usb port for your smartphones or tablets and two center pin ports for gadgets like wi-fi routers so personally i have both zol and tel1 internet because i love being spoiled for choice now the Tel1 Wi-Fi router needs 9 volts to operate whilst the Zol router needs 12 volts to operate. This makes this UPS perfect for my setup. Now let's look at what's cool about this mini UPS. It has a variety of ports and voltage options, meaning you can power or charge different devices at once. Unlike a power bank, you can charge the mini UPS and power external devices at the same time. It is a UPS after all, and that means if power goes, you still have a couple of hours before you need to worry about staying connected. But it's not all sunshine and roses though, this model has a few kinks that can throw some spanners in the works. The capacity of 8800 mAh is far too little for a UPS. It is passable for a regular power bank, but if I had it my way, I would prefer one with at least a capacity of 20,000 milliampere hours, like my Mi power bank that you can buy on Texim.market with free delivery anywhere in Zimbabwe. The USB port only supports 5 watt charging, which is the slowest charging you can get. I expected more from a UPS. The third one, which is more of a nitpick, would be really nice if it really had a port for charging a laptop. To be fair, the mini UPS I am reviewing is a prototype unit that the fellas from Netro Electronics were kind enough to let me play with. In its final form, it will be selling at an equivalent of 30 US dollars and should be available for purchase in April this year. Let me know what you think of this UPS in the comments below. If enough people love it, then maybe, just maybe, it might make its way to the Texan market real soon. Share this video if you are watching it on Facebook or WhatsApp. Like it if you are watching it on YouTube. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.